few more things I'll mention. Uh, last year we started uh, our first ever Prairie View FCU uh, scholarship. Uh, it was a $1,500 scholarship for students attending Prairie View University. Uh, our first winner of that scholarship was a student from Cy Springs High School, graduating senior, who was going off to Prairie View, uh, Javen Jackson. Uh, we've had requests over uh, the few months after that that we expand the eligibility for that scholarship so that current students of Prairie View University can be eligible for that scholarship, and we are making that change to make sure that that's possible. Uh, next up, is the 2024 scholarship recipient. We are in the process of reading those uh, applications right now. We should have uh, a decision in the next few weeks, so uh, we're indicating that we'll have an announcement for that around May. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, we've developed some financial workshops, and the workshops are developed uh, for both uh, our Prairie View FCU brand as well as our Scyther FCU. Uh, family, uh, those include car buying, credit building, budgeting and financial tips, and first time home buying. And we see such a demand from uh, our community partners, from our schools, uh, from the university, uh, and from uh, the members who come in and use the credit union on a day-to-day -day basis for additional financial education tools, either for themselves uh, or for their family members, uh, oftentimes for community groups that they are involved in supporting and, and seeking additional resources. And so uh, there's probably far greater demand than we can even meet, but we want to make sure that we're uh, providing as much as we can. Last but not least, uh, we launched a purple card. Purple card is intended to be the equivalent of what we did with Lone Star College. We do not yet have a licensing agreement with, with Prairie View University. I'll tell you about something that is in process there in just a moment. But until then, we really wanted to make sure that we had the same commitment uh, to scholarships and students uh, at Prairie View. And so we have launched the purple card. Uh, it is uh, decidedly the same royal purple co color that students and faculty and alumni will recognize uh, from uh, being uh, on campus, but uh, it does not yet uh, carry the Panther logo, and so I'll tell you about that in just a moment. Presently, 12 cents of every transaction uh, on qualifying transactions of $5 or more are eligible uh, for those donations to go to the Prairie View Foundation for student scholarships, and we're uh, working on a licensing agreement that would change the program, add to it, uh, if for somebody wants uh, something specifically branded, we're going to offer a Panther card, and we are, uh, we've submitted all the application, we're waiting for the decision to come back. We are um, cautiously optimistic that that agreement will be reached. We are also tying it with a sponsorship arrangement with the athletics area that is comprehensive, that includes uh, additional visibility for uh, the Prairie View Credit Union. Uh, opportunities for us to work on some uh, internships, both paid and uh, unpaid, uh, as well as providing life skill and financial education. It is a comprehensive package that we are providing uh, to administration and to the students uh, as part of our commitment to the community through the Prairie View FCU 